everybody. I'd like to welcome you to my first ever Let's Play, probably also my first ever podcast, so we'll see how this works. I'm Strange Whispers. I'm Old Lady Cannibal's husband. She kind of encouraged me to do this, and so I thought I'd take you on a little tour of our world. Um, first, a little introduction. We are on the Smiley Faces of Doom server, and um, this is a four-man server with me, Strange Whispers, Old Lady Cannibal, and a couple of our friends. I don't know if they want their names listed or not. So I just thought this first episode I'd kind of give you a rundown of what we've done and where we're at before we start on our many journeys. So first, this is my temple. Uh, it's the first thing I created here out of sandstone. I pretty much raised the whole desert over there. And we made the temple. Um, obviously, I'm kind of messy with the boxes everywhere. I'm, I've never been very good at that. I had to clear out all the jungle landscape here to make it kind of flat use a little bit of bone dust for the trees. Um, the, by the way, these were not in the pool when I first made the pool. They seem to be multiplying. Um, it's a shame you can't farm them. <clears throat> so, and there's my my teleporter to the nether. Um, my gate, I guess that's what it'd be called. If you go into the main floor, um, my beautiful wife, old lady cannibal, of left me a sign because you know, I can never find slimes, so she always finds me slimes. And then I just, everything's laid everywhere. I have, I am the absolute worstly organized person you'll ever meet for it. This is actually where I spent the first several weeks of on this server as my home. Um, I've just recently moved, which I'll take you there towards the end of the thing. And, and here's some more areas where I'm just kind of clearing out areas. Um, back here you can see my sheep pens. Um, originally I was going to have a pen that size for each color, but I kind of realized that was a pretty big set of sheep pens, and, and I can probably move them around and, and divide those up into multiple. Let's go take a look at them. <clears throat> oh, and so we got inner, inner ways to get in, and I have my little airlock set up. Uh, this is kind of to keep the sheep from trying to run away. And then, of course, you got, oh, nope, got sheep, stay out. Just stay in there, guys. And then you can also climb up via the vines. That was unexpected, but I appreciate it. And then the other way into my pens is to go down down the ladder there. Um, there were a lot more sheep. I don't know what happened to them, but, but maybe some of my compatriots on the server needed something. That's totally cool with me. Oh, here's another random box with random stuff. Oh, and here, see, the other one used to be about this full as well. Maybe they just died off. Um, I love my sheep pens. I'm trying to figure out a way to do it better, though, because I, I kind of feel guilty leaving them in a pit. And, you know, that's pretty sad for an adult to say about a video game, but the animals, it makes me sad to see them like that. Um, here, it cleared out some more jungle area. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this, but but I knew I needed something flat there's a little pool-like thing over here. And I can do something with that. I, f I, I figure I can do that. Let's see. Let's head on over to the town. Now, this town is where we actually originally spawned. Um, you can see I kind of built the castle walls around it. Um, originally, it was just like four or five little little huts out there. But we decided we needed to protect the village. Oh, I built a bridge, too. But And this is probably going to all come racing too fast because i got a lot of stuff to show. And I want to try to keep this under a very short amount of time. But um, if you go over here, um, everybody helped with building some of the houses. But I got tired of the zombies, so I, I built them the walls. So the walls are mine. Um, they all have, like if you go up here, you can run around the inside of the walls. And then it goes, goes all the way around <clears throat> on both sides. Oh, and m one of my cats. I have dozens of cats on the server. I, I love the cats. <clears throat> Um, I'm sure <laughs> my co-serverites hate the cats, but but the cats are awesome. I always have a thing for cats. So let's now if you go in here, um, I don't remember how I did that. Cause it's been a while since I played around here. Um, you can actually go inside the walls. I made the walls hollow, and that on the bottom level too. Um, oh, I guess I'll have to Oh, and we have we actually have more than a dozen golems in the town and more cats uh, we have lots of test testificates I'm really horrible with names 
but we have lots of testificates in the village and lots of cats and lots of golems. It, it, it's always funny when I'm digging at something and I accidentally hit a villager, then you have 12 of the iron golems come racing. So we have on each corner, we have a, a turret like this that goes up and I'm probably running too fast and making people queasy but you go up there and, and kinda look out there's my temple um, there's there's our station this is a subway station I've been building well subway and train station the the building holds a subway system to all of our places that goes underground and then one above ground train that I encountered a small issue with already today but it'll run it runs probably a thousand spaces out that way so let's what else do we got here let's see fairy we, we this whole area is co is common public space people can get whatever they need out of these we just put whatever extras we have in here and hey maybe I should leave some stuff for people because I do not need to carry this around with me and I got a lot of bows and the skeletons keep dropping me tons of bows um, of course this is it took a lot of fired stone and we we have multiple areas for stoves for ovens here because of that um, here's a place for people to sleep at if they want to camp out here um, trying to see yep got diamonds scattered over up as you can tell I'm not organized and pretty much no one except old lady cannibals really that organized and then if you go over here, it's our enchanting room. Um, I do have to say, on our previous server, we had a couple of other people that I really liked. That it just, it's just not not big enough server to have more people. But I want to, you know, give a shout out to Torin and Cannon Hawk. They're both really cool guys. I just we just don't have room on the server, especially with the money. So a little enchantment. Um, and I actually have ended up with like you can see I have Silk Touch here. I'll go through and get up to level 10 or 15 going out killing things and I'll come in here and do this and this is actually the fourth silk touch item I've built out of about 20 enchantments I've done um, my wife ends up with all of them because I really I really don't have a use for them yet and I'll lose them otherwise so I ju it's better just to give them to her um, let's see what else we got here I wonder oh they must have took the diamonds or oh there they are okay so we, we leave stuff for everybody. We're we're all pretty communal based here. Um, the walls go all the way around. It's a huge set of walls. It took a day or so to just put up the outer wall, and then the inner wall was another day. And we can never figure out how to keep the golems from trapping themselves down here because once they fall in, they never get out. At one point, I saw four or five of them there, and it was just kind of sad. Oh, there's congregation of iron golems. I don't know what you're doing. What are you guys doing? Hey, pardon me. Pardon me. What's going on in here? Ah, just for two testificates? There's five of you? Really? Okay, so this is just a really brief view of the village. This is the main village. Um, Old Lady Cannibal has shown you one of our other friends thing out in the desert. And then, of course, her big obelisk thing. <coughs> pardon my coughing. So here's the inside of the subway station. Uh, there's a the actual subway centers down there and then the train goes out here and I don't know if I saved it I might have an outtake at the end here where I um started the video and I was just kind of screwing around cause I hadn't set the settings up yet and it was just kind of funny if it's there I'll show you so um this goes to dunk 77's home this goes to uh, Old Lady Cannibal. She was also by Ethical Cannibal. I mean, it's all, all the same. And then this will go to Weiwei's place. He he has a really cool place. Maybe next time I'll, I'll run you by there, see if he's okay with that. He has this total area that's totally underwater. It's really good. You know, he spends a lot of time here, though, so. And I stripped a lot of this out because I moved a lot of it to the new village that I'm trying to fix up, but Let's take some wood with me. A couple boxes. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. I leave. I leave stuff everywhere. Oh, and those of you who watch Old Lady Cannibals, this is the spot where she put that dirt brick in. Yeah, 
I didn't notice it until I saw on the video. So you can tell I'm not very perceptive sometimes. So pretty, pretty. Okay, and then we're going to the town of Desolation. Now, supposedly, this train is totally encapsulated in glass with smooth stone outliers just to kind of break up the monotony a bit. And I tried to lay as much can much torchlight out there as possible just to keep creepers away, but it's not been helping very much. Oh, and I can hear the zombies too. And exploding things. Quit blowing up my train. I do not want to have to move it underground because this was a pain in the butt to do. This was one big piece of construction. A lot of glass. Damn, it was a lot of glass. Yep, taking forever. I All right. This is the second town I live at now. Um... Cleaned it up a little bit, put a lot of stairs in. It seems to be able to let the testificates run around more. Um, cleaned out some space. Let's see. No. I actually end up backfilling a lot of stuff too. And I still got a lot more to backfill. There's a ton of mines and caverns underneath. And it's causing a lot of problems with with um, zombies popping up and skeletons. And oh, hey, another one of my cats. Hey. I find that when I go by them, it's better to touch them, make them go active, and then make them go back to being passive. Otherwise, they teleport to me. So, I wonder... This. Oh, yeah. This, I found, is a huge drop-off. I'm not sure how well the video is going to take it, but I think I'm going to do some deep spelunking down there. And there's some light. I wonder what the light's from down there. Ah, definitely have to check that out. So, back up, and then the other side, this is kind of the frustrating part, because we have um, a bunch of testificates here, not that you'd see them, except this has become their meeting hall. I am not sure why, oh, actually there's only four, there was a lot more earlier. Oh, maybe I should start walling off the area so they don't come back down here. Um, and then, okay, the walls, horrible, because I only had, I had blocks of every type of color, but I was trying to wall off, there's a ton of creepers around here, and a ton of zombies, and so I just used what I had to wall things off, and then you can see where I dug out the terraces. I wonder if... I'm going to have to redo all the walls one color, but figure this will, oh crap, this will show you how big it gets. I have not really explored the land around, I just basically put the walls up because I, I felt so bad. The first night I got here, I saw several testificates running for their lives from zombies, and I spent most of the night was trying to kill zombies. And then here is the natural ca caverns that sort of um, wall off part of the area that I didn't have to use wall for. And there goes the piggies. Uh, yeah. Okay, so. <clears throat> I'm also very slow at placing blocks sometimes. So, other than that, I think that's just a really brief look at our Minecraft world. Smiley faces of doom. Um, oh yeah, make a little better view here. Oh, hey, an actual testificates that aren't in the hole. So, other than that, that's about it. I'll probably leave it for now and let you guys digest this as you will. And have a good day. Oh, and stay tuned for the um, outtakes. Yep, we're doing this forever. Creepers everywhere. Hey, there's creepers. Bring it. Oh!